Good morning guys, it is time for me to go to the gym. I'm quickly going to grab my stuff and then I'll meet you there for leg day. And we are back at the gym. So what I focus on always whenever I go to the gym is to make sure that I progressively overload my muscles over time. This basically means that you keep your muscles work harder than they were used to so that you keep forcing them to change and to adapt because when your muscles are used to a specific training stimulus and you just keep at that specific training stimulus and they really have no reason to adapt any further and therefore to grow now you obviously have to combine this with the right nutrition because if you push your muscles if you want to make sure that they grow if you make those little micro tears in your muscles whenever you're training but you don't give your muscles anything to kind of fill that up to refuel then there is really no room to grow so it's always important that you align your nutrition with it but you also have to go really hard at the gym now this doesn't mean that you have to keep adding weight and weight and weight and you always have to train heavier or you always have to train faster there are so many ways to progressively overload your muscles in the gym and my current favorite is actually to reduce the weight slightly and to double triple down on my form like I want to train with perfect form which means that I target the muscles that I intend to target, that they work really, really hard and really intensively, and that I also go through the range of motion where I don't shift the tension away from the targeted muscles and I go very slow so that I increase my time under tension. So those are the variables that I love working with because it's just a different way of training harder. So not necessarily heavier, but you just have to make it harder for yourself and it's such a mental game because whenever I'm going through the motions I'm like oh I I want to for example go all the way back up whenever I'm doing the front squat because then I know that the tension shifts away from my quads to my other muscles and therefore my quads get a little break but that is obviously not my goal it's just the easy way out so it's a very very mental game but it's just a really good way of progressively overloading your muscles without always having to go heavier even though there's nothing wrong with going heavier but I just love to double down on form uh, to make sure that I don't get any injuries Obviously, this is a very, very quad focused leg session, and that is because I love to divide my leg days between quads and glutes and hamstrings or like a full overall leg day if I have three. Um, but that's just because I, first of all, love having this much volume in one session because I feel like it absolutely destroys my muscles. But also it gives me so much time to rest and recover between those specific leg days. Um, which I absolutely love because I feel like that's just more room to grow and that's why I love to divide them between those two. Now obviously you always want to end your workup with a stretch. I've really been trying to do more yoga to focus on my mobility and my stretching because that really helps my workout as well but also it just helps my overarching goal of becoming the healthiest version I can be and being flexible and being mobile definitely is important when you think about your overall health. So take some time to stretch after your workout and also don't forget to do some dynamic stretches before your workout because that really helps with mobility as well. Hello, good morning and welcome to a new vlog. I just finished my leg day. I had the most intense leg session, which always, it's just the best way to start your day. I read a quote that said, if you want peace of mind, you need to have peace of body first. That stuck with me. So I love doing some form of exercise, regardless of whatever it is, but just to make sure that my body is at peace. Now it is almost fall and that can only mean one thing and that is that for breakfast I'm having baked oats and I found a recipe that has Biscoff in it. 
So we're going to make it. I am on week seven of my gaming journey. So in case you didn't know, I started the gaming phase seven weeks ago and I'm following my next level guide, which is the most intense workout guide that I have currently. You can find it on my website at gamesofbrains.com if you wanna go ahead and do it with me. It is not a like necessarily a gaming guide because that depends on what you eat, but I make sure that my nutrition is aligned with my goal of gaining. Because I often get questions like, hey, is this guide specifically for building muscle or specifically for losing fat. As always, what I say is what helps you to build muscle during a gaining phase is what prevents from losing it during a cut. So therefore my workout routines never really change. I just uh, make sure that I tweak my nutrition and that I tweak my cardio um, if my goals change. That's what I'm doing and I'm currently at week seven and I'm loving it. So I don't think that after those 12 weeks, because the program is 12 weeks, 12 weeks that I will quit. I might, you know, add a few weeks, maybe another 12 weeks after it. Also because I think that the goal of gaining is perfect during like fall and winter because no one wants to be on a cut during Christmas. No, it's fine. Uh, whatever your goal is, I just, I just feel really good right now. I feel energized. I have a lot on my plate. And I think that the last thing that my mind wants, that my body wants, is to feel restricted in any sort of way. So, it's almost fall. That can really only mean one thing, and that means that I'm having baked oats. <laughs> I don't know if that was what you thought that I was going to say, but I'm having baked oats, and I'm going to make it with Biscoff. Biscoff spread and cookies. So let's make it. Also, life hack, if you have an air fryer, Put it in the air fryer because that saves the oven time like times four if you don't have an air fryer put it in the oven the benefit of the oven is that your entire house will smell like biscoff i'm going to add 40 grams of oats to the blender approximately 40 grams 80 milliliters of milk i'm using oat milk but you can also use almond milk or any other one that you like and then i'm going to add a bit of Sealant cinnamon and then half a scoop of protein powder in vanilla some honey you can use any sweetener that you like a bit of baking powder and then the final ingredient is some greek yogurt and i'm going to add like three or four tablespoons I added some coconut oil to this baking dish and now I'm going to put half of the oat mix in there then I'm going to add a spoon of Biscoff and then I'm going to top it off with the other half of the mix. And I also added a little cookie on top and I'm going to put it in the air fryer at 200 degrees Celsius for I think. I'm going to start with five minutes and then I'll see how it goes. Ah, ah. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, so I ended up putting it for five minutes at 200 degrees Celsius and then five minutes at 180. And it looks amazing. Fingers crossed that the inside is done as well. Look. Yum, yum. Okay, taste test. Ooh. Oh, this tastes like fall. I think it could use a few more minutes at 180 because this is like thick, but here it's still a bit soft. I'll put it back for a few minutes at 180 and then I'll be back. Wow, so this is after five more minutes at 180. So total is 10 minutes at 180 Celsius and five minutes at 200, which are probably, I probably should have just done 15 minutes at 180 degrees celsius
probably had a few bad ideas in my life, but this was definitely one. I am soaked, but I'm here. Oh my god. Okay, I am back. That definitely was a wild trip and I'm now going to make some lunch. I freshened up a bit because that was needed. And for lunch, I'm going to make pizza because that's the only thing that can make everything 20 times better. And I'm going to make a healthy version. I'm going to use these five ingredients to make the dough, Greek yogurt, some flour, olive oil, salt, and a bit of baking powder. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I made that with Greek yogurt. Like what? I need to try it first, but I'm going to try to not burn my hands and put it on a plate. Wow. Amazing. I have one extra ingredient for some veggies. I just got back from the grocery store to get some of the things that I still needed to make dinner and I ran into Sophie from California if you're watching this thank you so much for saying hi you honestly made my day you're so sweet in general like meeting you guys it is crazy because like I'm so grateful that you are the type of people that watch my videos because every single time when I meet you in real life like the energy that you guys have I just like vibe with it and you're so thoughtful and you're so respectful and it just like I'm so grateful that you are the type of people that decide to watch my videos like makes my day so thanks again Sophie loved saying hi and talking to you for a bit I'm now going to make mac and cheese okay this is my point of view so I am making a mess while making some chicken I'm boiling some macaroni and some cauliflower Okay, let's do a quick little get on ready with me, starting with getting my contact lenses out because they are dry.
is a lip scrub because I feel like it starts to get colder so I need to take precautions. <laughs> I thought that would make like a sound but oh, kind of. So this is my nail treatment because I'm on the natural nail journey. No, I have not been keeping up with my nail. This is not looking as if I'm a coordinated person. Perfect. I ordered those um, heatless curls that you can put in at night. I'm very excited. I expect it to be in the mail this week or next week so I'll show it in the next video thank you so much for watching this one I am off to bed and then I will hopefully see you in my next one if you don't forget to subscribe bye guys